Coconut water is known as nature's sports drink. Its long history includes a reputation for medicinal healing. During World War II, troops were given coconut water in their IVs because the saline solution was in short supply. Today, though, you can find celebrities, sports figures, and other health-conscious people having a sip or two. The industry brought in $400 million last year. The New York Times is reporting extensively about coconut water and its health claims. Times investigative reporter Michael Moss is here, and he wrote the best-selling book, Salt, Sugar, Fat. Michael, welcome back to Studio 57. It's incredible if you think about coconut water. I mean, business expected to reach is like $1 billion next year. Why is it so popular? You know, it started 10 years ago, almost to the day. Two guys in New York started selling it to corner stores, scrambling, fighting for position. And you're right, 10 years later, everybody's drinking it. My wife started hauling it home the other day to make, <laughs> to make coconut smoothies. I couldn't believe it. Did you like that? <laughs> you know, uh, it, I find uh, you it know, an acquired taste. It is an acquired yeah. taste, a little salty, a little sweet. Not quite for me, but you're right, people are loving it. Is it good for you? So here's the deal. It is definitely somewhat more healthy than water. It has potassium, it has some calcium, some magnesium. Those are called electrolytes. But it's not the superfood that it was hyped to be years ago, nor is it any better at replenishing, rehydrating you than sports drinks. And I think a lot of athletes, that's the question they're asking, is should I drink this versus something like Gatorade, and is it any better for me because there's less sugar in it? So if you're an elite athlete, maybe, but look, for the average person working out, the companies themselves did a study where they looked at coconut water, sports drinks, and plain water. They paid for the study, and guess who won <laughs> on rehydrating? None of them. Plain water was just as good. There's a lot of competition, though, in the marketplace. It seems everywhere you look, I've seen coconut water with the flakes in it. Yeah. Is that better for you? You know, you've got to really be careful. Some of them are really sweetened with added sugar uh -huh. now and flavorings. 200 brands are now scrambling for part of this huge market. So if you're worried about sugar, you've got to read the label. You do you like it? Do you, like it? you, you, well, you, like you, you sipped it in the break and your face went... Mm. It looked like I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It looked like I bit a lemon. But I know people that really love it. I don't it. mind you, it. You don't yeah. mind it? I don't think I, I would walk I, around drinking it all day. got to be real Mixed with something hot, else. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's interesting because you see the two major companies, Vita, Coco, and Zico, mm -hmm. talking about merging or competition or buying one or the other, right? I mean, that's just a, uh, a sign of how, how explosive this market is. No, absolutely. And, and, and not only that, so it's gone from being just a drink to an additive in ingredients. You're starting to see coconut water touted as an ingredient in soap. Remember yes. coconut oil, yeah. but now coconut water. No, coconut oil is good for your skin. I use yes. coconut. If, if you drink coconut water, will you get hair like yours? <laughs> <laughs> I find myself, I'm not kidding. With Maybe no you're going to get hair your like wife, you've got this. Great looking hair. Because I will keep drinking if that's okay. <laughs> Every yeah. time you come, I marvel about your hair. Okay. So the bottom line takeaway is it's not as good as everybody thinks it is, but it is better than sodas. Yeah, if you're drinking is soda, your kid's drinking soda, it's absolutely better than that. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Cheers. Great to see you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye -bye. Cheers. Michael Moss, thank you.